Kent. Tell me, why is music important in the life of a child? Music is one of the most important things that a child should experience. Music connects that child to the wider world and it stimulates the natural creativity that a child has. Music isn't really just taught in a void. When children learn music, they are learning language, they learn history, culture, vocabulary, diction, they learn teamwork skills, music promotes critical thinking and literacy, and it also reinforces the child's awareness and ability to learn other subjects, math particularly. I think it's the time in my life where I need to concentrate not just solely on performing, but becoming a teacher and a mentor. I am a teacher, but becoming more of a mentor to, to children. And the importance, of the, the importance of this work, I think, now is, sadly, there's just not that many music educators out there. Because of budget cuts, many music educators have gone into different fields of work, and schools are left without, not just without music programs, but without artistic programs of any kind. So I am able, as one person, and uh, to go into the schools and uh, present uh, Rhythm Village uh, experiences for groups of children for entire schools. Well, the excitement of working with children as performers, for me, uh, is just the joy of working in that child space, because I'm really not that far from my own inner child, I suppose. It's not that difficult to connect with where kids are. Little by little, they become connected with the music, and their own creativity starts to come out. And that's my joy when I see they're getting it. That's that's the moment when I know Somewhere music has done its job. Over the rainbow, way up we want children to be connected to the show in a personal kind of way so that they know this is my, I'm part of the village. I am part of Rhythm Village. The village is not just one fantasy place, but wherever children are in their lives, they can be part of the village. So we want children to be connected to the show in a personal kind of way so that they know this is my, I'm part of the village. I am part of Rhythm Village no matter where we are. Spent a lot of time in Los Angeles, working with various folks in the industry. I've met uh, children, talented children from all over. We've even uh, worked with kids from the Bahamas as well. Uh, I spent some time in California working with kids and uh, doing some filming. And we had the excitement of working with Antonia Dora Plesco. Who was a young Judy Garland, a young Liza Minnelli. European young star from Croatia. She sings, she writes songs, she dances, and she uh, it was just basically born for the stage.
Los Angeles this summer and we got a chance to really relate with her. She's going to be a great part of our show and uh, she is a multi-talented, great kid. She's got uh, thousands of Facebook friends around the world, so we were really thrilled to be able to work with Antonia this summer. We want to make Rhythm Village relevant to children right away. As soon as they tune in, they can feel a connectedness. Um, because we are operating in real time as opposed to um, quick cut animation show, um, I think children will enjoy watching other children perform. I always did. They'll enjoy seeing children from around the world who are doing music and performing. Uh, Mr. Rogers succeeded by looking directly and talking directly to children and encouraging them and in the simplest kinds of ways. That's what we want to do. But we want to be a little more exciting because music is our foundation. Uh, we have an unlimited palette from from which we can um, glean and, uh, and, and present a whole exciting new world for kids to become involved in. So the, the, we, we want to take advantage of what's new technically and visually as well, but we want it to have kind of a slight retro feel that is a little more personal than a lot of shows that I've seen. Okay, and lastly, can you talk about the origins of the show? Where did it come from? Rhythm Village is sort of a fantasy place. It's sort of a dual thing here. And I think kids, I think kids can handle this. We want, we want Rhythm Village to be that special music place where kids can go and be creative with each other. But the village is wherever the kid is in the world. 